Every social media platform appears to be taking on TikTok-like feature, the short video. Such video demand has taken over and it's here to stay. Whether it's TikTok, YouTube Shorts, or Meta Reels for Instagram and Facebook, short form is not only transforming the social media space, but it's also spread to social media buying and advertising. Hello, social media fanatics. Welcome to the channel. Now, since we're talking about short videos, reels, you must be wondering, does it pay well? Meta claims to offer new tools to help creators monetize, but the question is, is Meta monetization or Facebook monetization as good as TikTok or YouTube Shorts? Let's find out in this video. Let's get started. Facebook's version of short form videos arrived a little later than other applications, but it is a platform that does not sleep and it cannot be overlooked. Facebook Reels are an important part of any content creator's strategy, especially when you can reuse previously made content. But what exactly are Facebook Reels? Facebook Reels are short films, usually under 30 seconds, that can be boosted with features like global music, film, audio clips, and different effects to enhance video quality. Content creators, marketers, and influencers frequently use them to grow sales and attract a bigger audience. Regarding the vertical video content, Facebook was a little late to the game. The Reels tool became available to the global market in 2022. Instagram Reels debuted in 2020, but TikTok debuted in 2016. Despite arriving a little bit later than all the other apps, Facebook Reels are now available in over 150 countries for content creators and influencers worldwide to enjoy and entertain their audiences. Videos posted on Facebook Reels appear vertically scrolling through your feed, your groups, and your menus. Now the main question is, how can creators and influencers make money through Facebook Reels, likes, messages, and other notifications? The first and foremost way to make money on Meta Shorts, Reels, Films, is short films and ad placements. And let me explain it to you. Monetization ads. Facebook gives a fair chance to everyone to earn, whether it's a new creator or a well-known influencer. Suppose a content creator has 10,000 followers, at least five videos, perhaps posting more might help, and 600,000, yes, minutes of viewership on their short films for the last 60 days. 60 days. They can become officially eligible to embed ads on Meta Reels. These new advertising opportunities are available in the United States, Canada, Mexico, and 50 other countries. However, there's a catch, there's always a catch, and a condition. According to TechCrunch, the review from the overlay advertising would be distributed as follows. 55% would go to content creators and 45% would go to Facebook. Pretty similar to what they're doing on YouTube Shorts if you follow my channel. If you don't, it's time to hit the subscribe button. Before the launch of Facebook video, content makers could only insert advertisements on their short film, but it is not accessible to users. Like stickers, creators can post commercial bumpers immediately on top of their Facebook Reels. Banner advertisements, a semi-transparent overlay at the bottom of your reel and a sticker ad which creators can post anywhere on their reels. Now comes the rewarding part for content creators. Newly added is the meta reward stars. Like kindergarten, Facebook also claims to reward people through stars through their viewers. Meta says that viewers will soon be able to send stars to their favorite creators while watching their reels. And for every star received, Meta will pay the creator one penny. Just imagine getting thousands of pennies for one reel. But yes, a little star pops up on the corner of your screen you click it and then it gives you an option from 99 stars up to i think 50 or more this tool might be my favorite is the reels bonus program and it's not going to last long and sadly i have some information to give you on that so stick with me meta has experimented with several ways to pay their creators and commercialize their content for their projects since launching Reels, including the Reels Play bonus, where content creators who have received over a thousand views in the last 30 days can be entered. The Reels Play incentive program offers producers up to $35,000 in a month. There's one catch though, however, it's invite only, sadly. I've been able to make a little bit of money off of this myself and I find it pretty cool, but they're making it harder and harder and harder for people to make those bonuses as they get more data and see how much effort and what they can kind of squeeze out of creators. But it is a free bonus if you get in. To challenge creators, Facebook created actual challenges and Meta just revealed this kind of for out of the box thinkers which means a person or creator can upload original content to Facebook with their ideas and start a social trend. Through their challenges, the incentive program, creators can earn up to $4,000 per month by completing consecutive tasks. The bonuses look like this. Some of the bonuses here are earn an extra $20 for five reels that make 100 plays each, earn an extra $100 for 10 reels that make 500 plays each, $1,000 for 15 reels that make 10,000 plays each, and earn an extra $3,000 for 25 reels that make 
50,000 plays each. That is on top of the ad revenue and stars that you could be earning. When a creator finishes a challenge, the next one becomes available until the end of the 30 days in which the progress starts all over again. It resets. But creators must be invited into the Real Play bonus program to earn money through the challenges. And they are difficult unless you're an amazing creator. In other words, the free lunch is not free, even though it's free. Now you must be thinking, how does Facebook Reels algorithm work? No need to think about that much. We have the answers, but first, make sure you subscribe that. Consider a super thanks, and if you're on Facebook, maybe add some stars to it. We appreciate it. The Facebook Reels algorithm, according to Meta, the algorithm focuses on helping viewers find content that they interact with, issues, subjects, and topics that they like most, such as moms looking at baby pictures, Makes sense. Facebook claims that the platform is creator friendly and it says the social site wants to give these creators a fair chance to get noticed. And sometimes it works out. Facebook Reels, Instagram Reels, it's all here to help creators and people discover new stuff and stay on the platform. That might be the creators as a brand, a creative mastermind, or something the influencers or creators wish to show with the world. That being said, try out Reels content that serves a goal. Education, discovering new knowledge, telling your travel experiences, or perhaps a food recipe. These tend to do very well. These options provide a range of content that others will find fascinating and entertaining because viewer involvement is Facebook's bread and butter, and thus it is yours. It stands to reason that the algorithm would be tailored toward rewarding engagement, but you serve the algorithm, the algorithm will benefit you. But they serve the algorithm. You must keep your eye on what's happening globally, such as if it's Father's Day, why not make a short reel where you surprise your father with a day out with activities. Keep an eye out on what's working and trending. Tracking your content results allows you to concentrate your efforts and attention on the ideas that are most effective. You can use Facebook's analytic dashboard within the app or upgrade to a more extensive third-party analytics like Hootsuite to maintain viewership and make your videos and viewers uh, to see what works the most. Now, if your account is brand new, you won't have enough data to start uh, to determine what's worked. So you have to experiment. However, you can use Instagram and TikTok material. That data can help you and what works more efficiently and you can experiment with what works. If you have your raw file, you can take your, your TikTok and rebrand it and then put it on Facebook and your Instagram or your YouTube shorts and spread them out across the three platforms. Mind you, if you download from one, it will be watermarked. So always use what is the raw edited file. Now you must understand that until and unless you make content that isn't different, it won't work. It's gotta be good quality. You must think of something that makes your audience give you stars and help you earn pennies if you wanna grow. You gotta give them some value, whether it's information or a recipe or just laughter, you have to give them value. Features that determine a good Facebook reel can last up to 60 seconds, although, most are shorter. Sometimes it's better to be shorter and precise with better quality. Reels adhere to Facebook's data policy community standards in terms of service, meaning no obscenities, no offensive, no copyrighted content. According to Meadow, most of the viewed reels are relatable to audience and convey a story that encourage others. So you wanna make meta reels to motivate others and spread happiness, hashtag challenges, inspiring moments, asking questions that are excellent ways to encourage your audience to watch reels and to share, shareable content's good. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and check out this video on the screen right here to learn how to monetize even further and take you down the rabbit hole. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you, I appreciate you watching.